Hello and welcome back to episode 513 of the Journey Through Games, playing almost every Super Nintendo game released in Europe and the US, but mostly missing out the sports games, because um, I'm not a fan of sports games really. And today we are playing Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island, a long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. This is a story about Baby Mario and Yoshi. Oh, okay. So he knew him before. Oh, we do know our Leica animated introduction. A stork hurries across the dusky pre-dawn sky. Mm. In his bill, he supports a pair of twins. Oh, okay. Wow, that's impressive. Look, this is probably one of the best opening animations. Suddenly a shadow appears in a gap between the clouds. That's cool. And races towards the stork with blinding speed. I would say that this is almost like a full motion video rather than a. This is really good animation. The babies are mine! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Snatching only one baby, the creature vanishes. Oh, he's only got one baby. Into the darkness from whence it came. See, I don't want to press any buttons and accidentally skip this. So I've got to wait, for, I guess, for it to progress naturally. The second baby falls undetected towards... Yoshi... Yoshie's Island. The open sea. Oh, no. Not towards the open sea. Let's turn the volume down just a touch. Meanwhile, here is Yoshi's Island, home to all the Yoshis. It's a lovely day, and Yoshi is taking a walk. That, those graphics are good for the Super Nintendo. Ugh. Suddenly, a baby drops onto his back. It's baby Mario. The baby seems to be fine. This is very fortunate. What? Something else fell with the baby. What was that something else? Let's take a peek. Alright, if you say so, Yoshi. It looks like a map. Maybe the stork was using it. Does that say Giza? Giza. But Yoshi can't figure it out. Oh, but he can figure out it's a map. Ooh. Sorry about that. Yoshi decides to talk to his friends. It's quite a long introduction, this, isn't it? Ah! Kamek, the evil magic cooper and kidnapper of the baby. quickly dispatches his toadies. Get out there, toadies. When he discovers that he missed the other baby. Oh, dude, you've only done half a job. Half a job, Harry here. Half a job, Kamek. <laughs> Yoshi heads leisurely back to the other Yoshis. yoshi -es. Yoshi, unaware of the danger at hand. Ooh, there are the toadies. Kamek's forces are actively searching the island. Hmm. With these two children, will these two children ever reach their parents safely? Probably not. <clears throat> That's a that's a good look at that. That's impressive. That's if that's not three D. No, it's not, is it? It's like sprites, but they've done a good job there. Nineteen ninety five as well, so it was like a late Super Nintendo game. That's impressive. That's probably the most impressive start menu I think I've seen on the Super Nintendo. Look at that. Look. Um, 
Right, okay. Uh, let's go file one. Ah, oh, so he's made it to all the other Yoshis. Baby Mario. This paradise is Yoshi's Island where all the Yoshis live. They are all in an uproar of the baby that fell from the sky. Uproar, uproar. <laughs> Wait, the baby seems to know where he wants to go. The bond between the twins informs each of them where the other one is. The Yoshis decide to carry the baby to his destination via a relay system. Now begins a new adventure for the Yoshis and baby Mario. Okay. I'm betting each coloured each coloured Yoshi has a, a special power, right? That's a very Nintendo thing to do. Ooh. I'm yawning. Need a good night's sleep tonight. Welcome to Yoshi's Island. Oh right. If Baby Mario falls off Yoshi's back, the countdown timer will begin. When he reaches zero, Kamex Toadies will kidnap Baby Mario. The more stars you collect, the safer you are. The countdown timer will slowly count back up to ten. Complete a stage by passing a baby Mario to the next Yoshi. But they were all together, so why why not just go to get oh wow, okay. Yoshi's quick. See what that is. Wait, what? Oh, that's cool. So my initial thoughts are that Yoshi seems it's very quick to run, a bit skittish. Holding hovering jump. By holding B down you can hover in the air for a short time. Make the extra effort, okay? Ah, he gets a slight boost. the first level then okay that was like a tutorial making eggs down grab an enemy with Y then press down and on the down on the d-pad to make an egg now try to any egg to pre press A okay oh ah, that's pretty cool Special flower, gather five for a one up, they add to your point total. They also add flowers to the gold ring roulette. Can Yoshi jump on stuff? Grab baby Mario, jump or even use your tongue to touch him. Throw eggs at him, if the timer drops to zero he will be kidnapped. Oh no! Yeah, so like it's it's a little bit skittish. Like he's not he's not that great at precise movement. Press A once, and the aiming cursor will begin to move. Press A again to throw the egg. When you find this question mark, cool stuff will happen to cancel. Press down on the D-pad. Ah, 
Okay, so I can... Ooh, that's cool. Oh, that came out of nowhere, didn't it? See that? Cheeky booger. Yeah, he doesn't. F he just feels a bit more skittish than like Mario in Super Mario World One, and just not quite as like easy to. In each level, 20 red coins are hidden among the yellow ones. They each add one point to your score. Oh dear, Yoshi's a menace. quite make sense that like we started in the same place together and now all of a sudden the Yoshis are ahead okay cool 70 points mm -hmm. let's go into level 1 2 seems pretty decent so far watch out Below. Is that a change on? Oh no. Oh gosh. So I wonder if this Yoshi does anything different. I don't think so, not so far. Doesn't seem to do anything different. Not oh, okay, so you can land on them. Oof. That's tough.
This is the middle ring for this level. You may continue from here. Okay. Do you remember? Press Y and down to make an egg. Press A to throw an egg. Well, I just have to press down. Press start to display your coin score to use special items, use left and right on the d-pad to choose an item and press A to exit, press B. Okay. I've got special items. Right, okay. Don't seem to have any at the moment. Ah, is that a special item? You can morph into a helicopter by touching the helicopter bubble. Touch the Yoshi block in time and baby Mario will walk to Yoshi. That sounded like the... Uh, uh, the Zelda like Ocarina of Time sound when you find an, when you get when you open a new chest and get a new item. Oh no. Is that it? Graphically, it is, it is impressive. I think it goes to show that by the time they got to later in the Nintendo, in the Super Nintendo's life cycle, they were pretty good at, um, they, they had a good handle on what the, what the machine could do. Because uh, this is pretty impressive. Alexa, what's the notification? Alexa, stop. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty decent. I would. I don't hear and many people really talk about this game. Um, match and scratch and match. One up chance. Scratch three boxes and cover Mario's to gain one up. Scratch out. Three Toad is okay. One Mario. Let's go for the middle one. Is that a Mario? No, that's a Toady, isn't it? Jeez. Let's go. Let's go with this one. Oh, is that a Mario? No, that's a Toady. Uh, is that a Mario? That's a Mario. Look at that. One up. One, one up. pretty cool. So now I've got the blue Yoshi. The Cave of Chomp Rock. Yeah, he does just like, it's the momentum thing. I've never really liked it in Mario games. Ooh, that was lucky. Pound the ground. Press down while in the air. Yoshi will pound the ground. This has many uses and it rocks. Ooh. 
うですね。Oh, no. See, the, the controls are starting to get a little bit annoying now. Like, the, uh, the, the kind of, how skittish Yoshi is. Like, especially in a platformer, you want it to feel like you, you've got complete control over the character you know cause you, like, especially if it requires you to um, do like pixel perfect jumping which I'm not saying this hasn't so far oh you can't you know, you're telling me gone and done it yeah so I was saying that I don't hear many people really talk about about this game like Super Mario 1 Super Mario World Super Mario World they don't even refer to it as Super Mario World 1 um, it's just referred to as Super Mario World and I didn't I don't think I even knew at the time that the Super Nintendo was out that there was a sequel um, so yeah for me I would say this is a decent discovery uh, it's pretty, it's pretty decent. Bert the Bashful's Fort. Or at least, my initial thoughts are. Ooh. And also, it seems that the, um, the, look, the Yoshis don't all have, like, different powers depending on their colours. Not yet, at least, anyway. How many of these am I going to have to do? Ah, what about... Look. That's pretty cool. The way that you can see the... The Shy Guys, I think that's what they're called. Um, actually controlling the, uh, the things that are trying to murder you. Oh, 
Oh, shit biscuits. Oh, come on. Oh, no. The toadies have got him. Yeah, going down there is not great. <laughs> Bert the Bashful's fort. Let's go. Let's push on through this stuff. Yeah, here, look. That's pretty cool, the way you can see them rotating the... Uh, traps no we don't need that ooh that was lucky Yoshi Donkey. Whoa. This is suddenly upped in difficulty, hasn't it? No. Oh, wow. Okay. time to hang about I'm afraid oh no oh Starting to think, see a little bit why people don't mention this. Uh, my, it might be that my opinion is changing slightly about it, it. It's the controls. It just feels a little bit like a little bit too slidey. Like they've taken the momentum thing from Mario, which was already like on the cusp of being just for me at least just a bit too much. And they've made it even more so, and I think it's taken it over the edge. Ah, uh, yeah, he runs up it. Like he sprints up it. Oh, I wasn't expecting. No! Oh gosh, yeah, I think that's gonna do it for for this. It just misses out, I think. Obviously, oh, let's have one more crack. The um, it started out quite good, like really good. In fact, I was impressed with the start menu, um, and then it was cool the way that it was constant. It seemed like it was introducing new things in each level. Oh gosh, come here. Um, and I did notice at first that the controls felt a little bit suboptimal. That slippy slidiness. Um, but I was kind of, I turned, I, I, I ignored it, I turned a bit of a blind eye to it. But the more you play it, look, the more you really have to kind of anticipate it. Oh, come on. Uh-oh. Oh, no. 
no. See what I mean? Like the, just the sliding off. Yeah, I can imagine that the more you play this, the more for, it's, it would get more and more frustrating. Um, yeah, so I think it, it makes a good first impression, but I think it, I see kind of why now I hadn't heard much about it. Um, so yeah, I think it just misses out on being a decent discovery, which is a shame. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. I'll see you guys next time.